So walking the dog is essentially providing upstream tension and a little action, kind of like a yo-yo would go down and spin at the end of the string. We're gonna have our fly working around this heavy structure, slowing it down, especially in fast water, and we're gonna coax fish out from stick piles and heavy structure using this technique. Walking the dog is gonna be something like this. I'm gonna cast into heavy structure, and I'm gonna slow and skim that fly, and I'm gonna manipulate that fly and move it right around the heavy sticks, just like this right here. I'll do it a couple of times. So I'm gonna work my fly around the stick. Just like this, I'll do it again. And then I'll release it to let it drift free. Just like that. Walking the dog and being able to actually work the fly back towards myself gives me precision to work the fly around heavy structure. It gives the trout an additional moment or two to consider taking your fly. It's a great way to create action and just yank fish out of those heavy, tough spots. This is an example right here below us, okay? So we have heavy structure. We've got a, we've got a grass bank right here. And this is obviously gonna be on a smaller scale because we're close. But as I work my fly around that grassy bank, look what I can do with that fly. I can work it downstream very slowly, just like that. I can bring it down to the trees, and then I can work my fly around the trees. And as soon as I'm clear, I can drop my rod tip and let that fly keep going. Walking the dog's a great way to fish either from a drift boat or when you're walking down a channel like this and you're gonna work that heavy structure along the shoreline. We're gonna be jumping back in the boat. We're gonna be using that technique to try to coax some nice trout out from under the big bushes, sticks, logs, and get them out of those fast spots where a lot of other anglers might give up on that at the last second. We're gonna let those flies hang in there. We're gonna skitter them, hover them, shake them moving, and try to create some bubble action between the fly and the water surface to create realism. All right, so I let the cameraman fish on foot coming back down. I give the cameraman the rod for about 30, 30, seconds. 30 seconds and he hooks a fish. So caught it right in that cut right there on the back side of that stick pile. Back side of the stick pile, there it is. Dude, it's a cutty, I think. I think it is too. Oh, double! Double! Double walking the channel, man. You got that one on the back side of that. Yep, yeah, so. We hit a couple on the way up, walking the channel. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn him. Beautiful, beautiful cut, dude. Nice job, man. Nice job on that Emma's Stonefly. All right, Jake. Dude, you got a little scrapper there too, pal. Nice job, you guys are pounding them. Yeah, we fished the weak side going up, heavy side coming back. Got four nice trout. Four nice trout in here, yep. Stoneflies. Yes, in 30 seconds right there. No, there's trout everywhere coming up on stoneflies. Yes, I saw him come up on that other stonefly, right there. and then he came up on mine, and there's more everywhere. Six. This hatch is on. Six, six trout just came up right Looked like you were giving it a little bit of action. A little bit, just twitching, walking the dog. It doesn't only like get you out of cover, but it also gives it action. It can attract the fish. If they're hung up on it, just watch them free float. You twitch it a little bit, they might go for it. Fish yeah, you kind of hide. Up. You know, we'll explain this better, but you can kind of hide your men's. Nice rainbow. Good job. I'm going to let you unhook them. Okay, walk, 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 walk it back. Walk it back, walk it back. Walk, 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 Drop. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Walk, 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 walk. Drop. There he was, dude. Good job. They are stagged. Start over, Jacob. Yep. Walk, walk it back. Walk, 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 walk. Drop. Just like that. Walk, 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 walk. Drop. It's right when you drop it that they love it. Good work, boys. All right, there we go. Nice hookup. I'm gonna drop the anchor and get the net. Dude, that's a big fish. 
it's my bad. That's a big trout. Okay, you might just be cautious because he might try to he might try to make a break for it. Oh, the net. Of course, the net's huh? snagged up when we got the big fish on. All right, how'd you get him? Walking the dog. Oh man. So was it while you were twitching it or after you dropped after it on? After I dropped it, twitch, twitch, then I dropped it, then he just smacked it. Yeah, right up against that heavy grass bank over there. Okay, I'm gonna hold the net. You're gonna guide him downstream into the net. He's not ready. Good job keeping that tippet off the boat. Just so people know when they're in a fiberglass boat, the bottoms aren't perfectly smooth. They're dinged up and abrasive, so if that trout rubs the tippet on the bottom of the boat. Okay, bring it. Oh, man, dude. He just doesn't have any quit in him, does he? Nope. Yep, just get his head on top. I'll be waiting for him. Up, 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 up. Right. There we go. Nice. Nice. Look at that. The thing's like 18 inches. Yep, that is a good, good trout, man. Skittering that bug back. Look where he's already unhooked. That's a heck of a trout right oh there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're just letting him swim. Let's get him back in that fast. Good fighter. Good deal, man. That thing was like 18. I guess yeah, that was a good. That was a good catch. Yeah, these boys are these boys are getting it done today. Nice job. He got one walking the dog right off the front of a big boulder back there. I was just walking the dog straight through the boulder on a little bit of brush. Yep. Fishing the heavy structure. Nice. Good job, little man. Another one walking the dog. Giving that bug some action and uh, get him back in the water. Nice job. But that trick can be done from the boat um, or on foot, but it works really well in the fast water because it allows us to get to give the fly a little bit more time right above those uh, pieces of heavy structure.